Hello again, everybody. Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues. We head back to Edmond, the University of Central Oklahoma. Well, the coach has announced his new hire, and the last one to head to the coaching staff, Todd Steidley, says, hey, I want Sam Hayeswinkle. Sam Hayeswinkle joins us today, coincidentally. <laughs> Sam, how are you? I'm doing really good. How are you doing? Good, man. You look good in blue. Yeah, I like it. Looks good on me. So how did this all go down, uh, heading to Edmond, taking over an assistant coaching position, uh, joining Todd and Kyle uh, on the staff there at, at, at Central Oklahoma? Man, that's uh, how much time do you have? As I, much it's as a long you need. Story, a lot of parts to it. And uh, what it really came down to, there's a lot of good energy down here. And, and we were looking to just, you know, get get a change. I wanted to move up, start getting into coaching, and, and this looked like the place to do it. This was my best chance to to start moving forward. Uh, Coach Stiley's here. I'd worked with him a little bit the last year, helping out with the, the kids' teams for USA Wrestling Oklahoma, and just loved his organization, loved how he did things. I've heard nothing but good stuff about him, and uh, I'm just, you know – where I'm really lacking at administration side kind of stuff, he's he's supposed to be the best in the country at. So I'm really excited to learn from him and and bring uh, what I hope is my expertise into the program and what's already a stellar program. I I heard a stat when I was here. They said uh, something like uh, Iowa and then Oklahoma State, I think, or Oklahoma State then Iowa for national titles, and then uh, UCO is third on the list uh, nationally for for the most national titles. And we're looking to get up there, be number one here soon. Well, and I know athletic director Joe Muller is wanting the best. It's obvious if he's voting with money, time, and effort. And then a great coaching staff, hiring somebody has been there, done that. Todd is, is a, a tremendous guy, and you're right. The devil's in the details when it comes to coaching. Uh, and I'm talking, of course, about it, the admin stuff. And if you can learn how to do that effectively and efficiently, uh, you've got to have to battle one. Um, so you're you're well known as being a great technician. Uh, you know, on the mat, in your head, you're always prepared. Um, that's one of the things that they are are very uh, excited about uh, getting from you and Kyle. Talk to us about teaching these days. Is it is it different today than it was say ten years ago when you were uh, more athletically <laughs> inclined? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, I look at the kids wrestling nowadays, and, and I know when I was a kid, I I thought I was one of the better te technicians out there. You know, my dad was an Olympian. I felt like I knew a lot of technique, and and I look at kids nowadays, and they would just thump me. Their positioning, their technique is so far beyond where I was. It's incredible. And then you add in stuff, uh, traveling so much more now. Kids go all over the country. They do tournaments everywhere. You got you got stuff like tr track and flow where they're watching matches of, of their opponents. They know what they're ranked. And just you add in all that kind of stuff, the media, the, the social. Wrestling's going places, and it's going places fast right now. The, the technique and trying to stay up with it, I, I love it. I love that part of the sport. You know, you stop learning, you, you stop winning, and it is easy to keep learning right now. National champion, All-American, Olympian, uh, Hall of Fame family. I mean, this um, this is a huge get for them as well. There's a lot of responsibility, though, you place on your shoulders. You take all that on your shoulders, don't you? Ah, uh, I don't know. I, I've never been one to to. to to worry about that stuff you know you you got to learn quick when you're when your dad's an olympian that uh that that big shadow just just means you know you don't have the that sunshine on you, you I, I don't mind having that kind of pressure on me i'm gonna go and do the best i can do it i try to always look at how, how i would do it with wrestling and if i go out in a match and it's a big match and I have my strategy, and my strategy is, is the best way for me to win. And when, when you get away from that strategy, when you get in trouble. So if I'm trying to do more than, than I can do, trying to coach in a, in a way I've never done before or, or bigger than I am, I'm going to get in trouble. So my goal here is just do my best and, and believe in uh, Coach Stiley, Coach Evans, and, and let them do their part, and I'll do my, my part. And, and if we're all giving our best, we're going to make it places without any problem. 
You know, I, I want to quote Chael Sonnen in, in something he said about you, and I don't want to embarrass you, but I think you've heard it before. Uh, he said, Hayeswinkle two years ago was the best overall wrestler in the country. If there's one person to have coached my kid, Hayeswinkle's the guy. That's my guy, he said. Um, when Chael Sonnen says that about you, what does that, what does that bring to mind? I, uh, it meant a lot to me. It, uh, uh, I actually didn't, didn't know about it till just a couple of weeks ago. I, I, I missed that, uh, that radio interview and, and somebody's like, man, I really, really liked what, 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 Ch or, what, Kale, Chael, Chael, sorry, I'm <laughs> saying it wrong, Mr. Sonen. Uh, and, and I, I had no clue what they were talking about and I had to go back and find it. And I, I tell people that's probably one of the best, uh, compliments I've ever received. It, it meant a lot to me. I, I feel like uh, I worked hard at being an all-around wrestler, being good in every style, and to hear somebody of his caliber that you know he's he's multi-sport good. You know he's not just wrestling. He's done it across a couple different sports and what he's done. To hear him say that was good. It, it meant I'm doing things right, and and somebody that has that, that understanding to be to be saying that, that I'm the guy that he wants coaching his kid. Uh, uh, that means a lot to me, and and if I can just keep it from going to my head and, and keep working to have more and more people saying that about me that I'm doing things right. right. Sam Hazewinkle, our guest in the Nike hot seat today. Uh, of course, you know Sam from the Olympics, from from uh, national championships. He's generally anywhere there is great action because he was the reason there was great action. Uh, and we, we happen to agree, by the way, with Chael Sonnen. I believe that Sam Hazewinkle is one of the great untapped uh, coaches in the country. Well, they've tapped him now at, at uh, Central Oklahoma. Expectations are high. A fourth-ranked recruiting class uh, in, the, in the country. And, the, I mean, the battles to be waged starting this November, Sam, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm, I'm ex excited, too. And uh, we're having a little bit of an audio problem over here. So I, I believe. I'm going to try to answer your question. Uh, I heard the fourth rank uh, recruiting class and, you know, walking into something like that uh, is, is, is great. You know, and I, and I get these guys, this super recruiting class, we're coming in the same time. They are, I am coach Steidley. And, and so we get to all grow together, which is, which is wonderful. Uh, we don't have to, you know, kind of, Sam Hazewinkle has been our guest. Fifteen national championship banners hang in the Hamilton Fieldhouse, and they're looking to add more to it. We appreciate you watching.